Sarah here from smallbusinesssarah.com and today I want to go over a PayPal issue I've been seeing with the bank feed um, in regard to QuickBooks Online and show you how to fix it. So let's get started. So the issue I've been seeing is that for some reason refunds within PayPal and also currency conversion fees have not been coming over into the bank feed here in QuickBooks. So what you'll see is I've categorized all the PayPal transactions so far um, for this particular account and I'm still off by 4322. Now it could have been a different issue but I, I already know to look for this so I can tell you right now it's because the refunds are not being carried forward. So I downloaded a CSV file from PayPal of the balance affecting activity for the month and I have that right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort it. So if I go here, select everything and then I go to data, sort, and I'm going to sort by type, hit OK. Now it's going to sort by like the type of transaction it was, like a purchase or a transfer or what have you. And I'm going to scroll down to the bottom where we have refunds. Let me kind of expand that a little so you can see. Payment refunds are now all grouped together. And if I add these up, Right there, you can see in the bottom, 4322, that's my difference. Um, so now I need to get the refunds into QuickBooks. Um, most of them happened on 10-2, so I'm just going to go ahead and use that date for my 4322 difference. I could add in all of these refunds individually, but for my purposes, I don't really feel the need to do that. You can choose to do that if you wish. Okay, so we're going to come back to QuickBooks. We're going to do new and expense. Um, I'm not going to add a payee because I'm gr grouping all of the refunds together. The payment account, this is really important that you select PayPal. The date, also really important. important. Otherwise, you won't balance um, to the correct date if you put this in at the wrong time. Uh, 43.22 is the amount, <clears throat> and you can select the category. The category you choose might be PayPal refunds or PayPal sales. In my case, this is part of a larger Shopify uh, shop entry and bookkeeping, so I'm actually going to select Shopify Bank as my category. But like I said, you may be selecting something like PayPal refunds or PayPal sales as your category for these refunds. And then I'm going to add a little note. Missing PayPal refunds from bank feed. Okay, and if everything looks good, I'm going to hit save and close. And now everything is correct. Um, now, just because you have a difference does not mean it's necessarily refunds. There can be many different re reasons for differences between the bank balance here and in QuickBooks. Sometimes there will be a difference and it's not even a difference. It's just timing is off a little bit. So don't, don't freak out necessarily if you have a difference between these two amounts here. But in my case, I knew to look for this. So I knew that refunds were my problem. And I just headed straight there, and sure enough, that was my entire problem, balancing PayPal. So I hope you find this helpful. If you're having trouble balancing PayPal, and you've definitely had some refunds through PayPal, definitely download that CSV file from PayPal um, and find the refunds and see if that happens to be the issue that you are experiencing. You can double check that against the bank register of PayPal. You could run the bank register or pull up the bank register of PayPal and double check that your refunds indeed are not in there or did not appear in your bank feed to make, make certain. Um, in my case, I just knew that's what it was. Um, if you found this helpful, I would really appreciate your like and subscribe. 
Have a great day.